A merman stole my wife to the sea, to the sea, and it's caused me nothing but strife. To the sea, boys, to the sea. Oh, mermaids come and mermaids go, but a merman you should be wary. If you see one, you should lock your door, for they can be quite scary. From really early on in the project, there was always this idea that Rex was trying to promote of that the world is made of stories. So it is constructed of folk legends and myths. From quite early on, I was experimenting with sea shanties and I was like, I actually wrote a sea shanty. Oh, I remember this place from when I first arrived. I wandered alone, but somehow survived. We don't want our games to feel like an experience that people have had before. Um, you know, if people are going to buy our games, we want them to feel like they are getting something unique and special. believe my eyes. Normally when you're working on a handheld title, you need to compromise the audio experience just to be able to get it to fit on this small device that sits in your hands. But the cool thing with Tearaway is that the Vita is such an awesome piece of kit that we didn't really have those restrictions. So we've got uh, beautiful ambient soundscapes everywhere, we've got interactive music, we've got tactile interactions with the papery objects in the world that when you touch them they sound papery and they dynamically change as they unravel. When uh, Brian and Brian, the other composer, and I started working together at the, st at the start of that relationship, um, there was quite, quite a lot of back and forward where he'd written this. It was an awesome bit of music, but it just didn't quite fit. And I slapped uh, like drums and bass on it, and just kind of. And he was like, "Whoa, I don't know if we could do that." And the next track Brian wrote after sort of showing that, that that's where the limits were was this awesome kind of uh, folk dubstep track, which you hear in the barn in the game. And it's completely mad and it shouldn't work, but it's, it's, really, it's really cool. What I've had fun doing in the last few days is actually putting together a soundtrack. And Media Molecule, we're kind of known for music being a big part of our project, but we've never released a soundtrack before. Um, this is a first game that's 100% all original music. There's no licensed music in the game. And so I've had fun going through the game, choosing all the best bits of music and putting it together. So that musical journey that Tearaway takes you on, you can, you can experience outside of the game with the soundtrack. Yeah.